As you are already aware, there is no proven medicine for speech delay or issues like autism. Therapy may show benefit in years, but we do need to boost it up with medicines forming synapses and myelination, keeping away the neuroplasticity. And this is what is the heart of goal directed cognitive approach. We are struggling to make these kids improve communication. In my experience, to make these kids improve communication, medicines and nutrients I use, patients start understanding language in one to three months and some do start talking in a year. Later, occupational therapy is crucial at every stage of learning life, living and communication skills in these kids. So exactly what these medicines do or what these nutrients do? There are three important jobs these nutrients do. One important job is improving the speed of conduction of the nerves taking the data or the input to the center of the brain. Second is increasing the development of connections into the brain so that the internal sensory integration will occur to develop cognition. Third, to develop above development, we need to have a stable base of the child by tackling the child's hyperactivities and sensory issues and the medicines will also help in the same fashion. Now when we work with the medicines, we are not treating here deficiencies, we are not treating here toxicities. So doing blood levels for deficiency and toxicity or for the metals or the nutrients is not important here. It's like developing synapses. Synapses means connections into the brain. We call it as bridges which are used for making the data transfer or the traffic system of the brain faster. To make these bridges, we need lots of raw material to build these bridges and for these bridges we need these nutrients and they are not related to deficiency like just filling the portals and making the road. No, it is beyond something that where we need more connections and more connections to develop significant traffic to the brain so that the brain's data processing power can be streamlined. Even in normal kids, there is a phase of two years development between understanding to talking. Prosody and self-talk. Prosody means hmm, humming related talk and self-talk are stages of development. So don't call it as abnormal. But if a child gets stuck it for more than three months, definitely we need to boost him to the next step. In autism kids, the development of the communication socialization is going with 0.05x zoom speed. That's why every normal developmental process which is occurring in normal kids in few days or weeks in autism kids, that same process occurring over the period of months to years. Depending on efforts and medicines, it may last longer and or shorter. It's one of the hallmarks of autism. So is hyperactivity, fixed interest or temper tantrums or stubbornness. We aim to make the symptoms near normal better than before. Medicines are not like a magic wand. They need titration and adjustments every one to two months to titrate the response and if possible every week. I request all the parents to understand the concepts and keep a list of the goals and gains every week and discuss with the expert or me across the WhatsApp so that we can make changes every week. Chart the weekly autism monitoring symptoms as per the autism monitoring diary available at the neuropediatrician.com. Once I know what changes you are seeing in the child, we can plan the goals for the next week or the next month. No one can claim any improvements and all the predictions which we talk about are based on the similar cases seen by me and the results told to me by the parents which are unbelievable. Some of the parents videos are already shared online or YouTube or maybe WhatsApp. All parents do not permit videos but the changes other parents see in 100 days helps the other parents go for them. Homeopathy, HBOT, stem cell therapy, gluten-free or GAPS diet, believe me, these are not the ways by which children have shown improvement with us in the same space. Don't delay therapy. Don't stop medicine without asking doctor. I still have not seen any kid getting better than any other ways than what we are doing. Any compromise or delay equals to handicap. Rehabilitation in early years, that is early intervention is the key. And how early? The earliest is now. Certification is only for concession and benefit under PWT Act. It does not help in cure or recovery. Certificates don't cure. Don't repeat the schooling. Insist for age appropriate schooling and add support with the help of the therapies and extra tuitions so that the child will move forward.